Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to add or subtract two different types of thirds. So the way you do this is to make the numbers under the thirds the same by simplifying the thirds. Okay, so if you don't know how to simplify a third, what you need to do is look for a square number which goes into the number that you're simplifying. Okay, so it's probably a good idea to write your square numbers down before you start off. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 3 is a 9, 4 4 is a 16, 5 5 is a 25, 6 6 is a 36, 7 7 is a 49, 8 8 is a 64, 9 9 is a 81, 10 10 is a 100. Um, I don't think we'll need any more square numbers. So let's have a look at the first example. We've got to simplify root 18 plus root 50. So our biggest square number which goes into 18 is 9. So we can rewrite root 18 as 9 times 2. Our biggest square number that goes into 50 is 25. So we can write 50 as 25 times 2. So we can now square root the 9, which is 3, but we can't square root the 2. We can square root the 25, which is 5, but we can't square root the 2. So as you can see, we've simplified the thirds. So the numbers underneath the thirds are the same. So we can now add these together. So 3 root 2, add 5 root 2, gives an answer of 8 root 2. So let's have a look at the second example. So this time we've got to simplify root 27, take away root 12. So the biggest square number that goes into 27 is 9. So we can write 27 as 9 times 3. And the biggest square number which goes into 12 is 4. So we can write 12 as 4 times 3. So we can square root the 9, which is 3, but we can't square root the 3. We can square root the 4, which is 2, but we can't square root the 3. So again, we've made the numbers underneath the square roots the same. So we can take these away. So 3 root 3 take away 2 root 3 gives 1 root 3, which is the same as root 3. So let's have a look at the final example. So we've got root 250 plus root 40. So our biggest square number which goes into 250 is 25. So we can write that as 25 times 10. Our biggest square number which goes into 40 is 4. So we can write that as 4 times 10. So the square root of 25 is 5, but we can't square root the 10. Square root of 4 is 2, but we can't square root the 10. So we've made the third the same, so we can now add these together. So 5 root 10 and 2 root 10 is 7 root 10. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.